I am grateful that I kind of got nudged or asked to make a video about this year's Burning Man theme, Waking Dreams. I think I have some ideas. You know, recent years have felt surreal and Burning Man has always been a place of blurring the lines between default reality and whimsy and dreams and surreal aspects of possibility like an alien world and a, the earthly realms and that liminal space and so that the Burning Man has always been an invitation to to let go of your firm grasp or definitions of what default reality is and surrender to possibility to rent surrender to whimsical dream like experiences and creations. I mean, if you look at Pink Heart Camp, you know, which I've been building for 12 years, that was a dream come true. A, a image, a, a concept, an idea that only existed in the dream world. And then we built it. And so Burning Man is, is one of those few places where you can take something from dream reality and build it in the default reality or the, the, the waking world. And that's a powerful shift in awareness, a powerful shift in just like concepts of how the world is. You know, there's a huge gift of letting go of certainty. You know, when you have a, a, a knowledge of the way things are, your brain has no space for anything but that. You know, we have cognitive bias. We have confirmation bias. So if you think something is impossible, you will not see anything that demonstrates or proves that it is possible. You just won't even see it. You know, if you believe it is impossible to fly, you won't see the person who's levitating or you will immediately go, oh, well, that's done with a mirror or whatever. But if you put that space, like maybe it's possible. Then when you see it, you, your brain has a crack that starts to go, well, how, how is that? How is that possible? And the same is true with the concept of the possibilities of building community or human interactions or art. You know, if you think it's, I could never build a massive piece of art, you, you won't notice that your neighbor is trying to get rid of a massive pile of wood. You won't even hear it because it's not something that is in your reality. It's not something that's a possibility. When somebody mentions that, hey, they just got laid off on their job and they're looking for something to do right now and they happen to be a structural engineer, you're like, oh, cool, good luck with things. But if you think it's a, there's a possibility that you could create something massive, then when you hear the person say, I'm a structural engineer with a bunch of time, you're like, could we talk about this dream idea I had? And Burning Man makes the cracks so that the waking dreams can happen, so that the, that the vision between what is possible and what is impossible is porous. And I guess to me, that is what waking dreams is about, is about surrendering to possibility, to not letting our stories about what has always been be the cages that trap us into the way it's always been. You know, you, you have to make space for a new reality. Burning Man gives us that gift so that when the surreal, when the impossible bubbles up in our subconscious, in our collective unconscious, in our dream worlds, it comes into our waking dream experience as we walk the dreamscape of the playa, as we interact with human beings that are alien in their 
in their unusualness and magic, our brain has space for them only in that waking dream state. This massive gift of possibility. So I look forward to living in the waking dream world with so many of you, whether that is in Black Rock City or just in the way we take the 10 principles and this possibility mindset into our worlds. So thank you. I love you. I'll see you at home.